Actually, I'm just going to have a quick little uh, chat for a sec. I've just been listening to a interview this morning that's called... Oh, what's it called? It's called The, um, the Human Condition uh, and the Interview That Saves the World. And it was shared to me by a friend of mine from Scotland and she has been very challenged the last few years because there's been so much government overreach and it continues. It doesn't go anywhere. It's not disappearing. In fact, the overreach just continues, continues and continues. And what's nice about this interview is that it's called The Breakthrough Biological Explanation of the Human Condition. And the interviewer, oh, it's uh, Professor Harry Prosden, former president of the Canadian Psychiatric Association. Oh, he says it's the most important interview of all time. But what was really cool about this interview, it's on YouTube, what was really cool about it is that it's what I do in kinesiology all the time, which is fascinating to me. The interview that solves the human condition and saves the world. That's what it's called. But it's what I do in kinesiology all the time. I calm down survival patterns and allow the conscious brain to work. So the example in this, in this was that science has finally found that the gene technology in our body helps us to move forward with our life, whereas the nerves need an explanation of our life. So when we are challenged with everything going on in our world and with waking up to the shenanigans, you know, with um, big government, big business, big money, big tech, big ag, big all this sort of stuff and knowing how really that's a ruling class that's trying to come down and impact on every area of our life. It's because we haven't been conscious, <laughs> you know, fully conscious. We, we've been running in survival and our ego or our our superego, which wants us to be like everyone else. It wants us to be that uh, connected to the world around us and the people around us. And we don't want to think differently. We don't want to upset the apple cart. That super consciousness, the super ego is like that hive mind where as soon as you poke your little head up, you know, and sort of say, hey, what about this? It, it, it's frightening to start with. Anyway, it's sort of interesting because the more he talks about it, I go, hmm, I've been doing this for 25 years with kinesiology, which is a really very, very cool thing to actually find out. So uh, let's get into the actual balance. Talk again soon.